Now, whoa, 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 wait, hold up, part one? But it, it's the 10th episode, it's... No! How dare you! Hello, fellow Disney Plus watcher, it's nice to talk with you about Disney Plus today. If you love Disney and Disney Plus as much as I do and enjoy talking about it, why not click the subscribe button to stay up to date and give it a like so that more people can find this video. Thanks. Okay, so apparently the creators of this show knew there was going to be a season 2 while developing this show. This part 1 episode serving as a season finale tells me that. I mean, that's encouraging, I guess. I mean, that means there's somewhat of a plan to develop this series into something longer instead of looking at the success of every season, season by season. And just this week the news broke that they indeed are already working on it. So... Yeah, good news for the fans. Now, with that down and out of the way, let's talk about this semi-season finale. But do be aware there's going to be spoilers. If you're still here and haven't watched the episode yet, this is your warning. Still here? Great. This episode is about new family revelations, tragic pasts, and oh my, we learn why Sugar Mama is such a sadistic old prick to Oscar all of the time. At least we learn more about it. It's all in her past, and luckily we get a little bit more meaningful of an episode as the final one this year. The episode opens with a pretty amusing scene where the ecosystem of House Proud has been knocked out of balance as Penny and Oscar both wonder, Trudy, who's gonna cook and what's for dinner? Trudy! 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 Oscar! What are you yelling about now? Trudy! But Trudy's busy and obsessively looking for ties within the family on this online website. A family heritage website, I should say. You know, family heritage and pedigrees and stuff, it's quite interesting. On a personal note, my grandma's doing the same thing. I don't even want to know how much time it took her, but she's very passionate about pedigrees. So I can relate to this. Not to this kind of behavior. <laughs> But hey, at least the passion's there. But okay, Trudy learns that Sugar Mama's real name is Charlotte, uh, that she has her roots in Oklahoma, but that she's extremely hesitant about going. She even refuses to leave the sofa, which was funny, but also very telling. Something's up, something's happened in the family, there's a reason House Proud only learns about Charlotte now, Sugar Mama was never gonna tell them, but against all odds, everybody's going to Oklahoma. Even Penny, who was hoping to go on a school trip, and oh, by the way, are we gonna talk about how we got a whole redemption arc for La Cienega last week? Where we now can finally feel sympathy for La Cienega, or at least that, that was the idea, right? Seeing how she's scarred by her past and behaves like, well, Let's throw that out of the window, because she's once again actively stealing Penny's boyfriend, which is low, lower, lowest. I mean, Penny, this is not your friend. I'm not your buddy, friend. He's not your friend, guy. I'm not your guy, buddy. What baffled me, by the way, is how Charlotte gets an invitation just when everybody found out about Sugar Mama's secret family, which is, of course, extremely convenient, but how the rest of the episode plays out like the family is not easily accepted, not even invited. Sugar Mama's father is even reminding her of, you are not welcome here. Everybody is trying to earn their trust, trying to be accepted, but so why the easy invitation? I know it sets up the rest of the episode, but isn't the true motivation rekindling with family? Doesn't it feel a little bit more believable that in the scenes where Sugar Mama's father, who by the way looks decades younger than Sugar Mama herself, told the family to stay away, wouldn't it work better if we, if we didn't see this invitation at the beginning of this episode? In my opinion, it's needlessly confusing. Are they invited or not? Please, if I'm missing something, correct me in the comments. But yeah, still enjoyed the episode as one of the more consequential ones, I guess? We learned completely new information on a few very important characters, so I appreciate the little bit of effort there. And yeah, the humor was quite good too. Loved Oscar's comments about women calling him Snack Mac and Trudy correcting him with what women? Uh, only you, darling, only you. <laughs> you know, it's, it's a joke that gets repeated throughout both versions of Proud Family in different forms and I really liked the, the version of that here. I liked Puff helping Sugar Mama with her fishing in secret. I, I, I do think the inclusion of this weird looking monster wasn't helping anything in this episode. I didn't like that one. The scene where Penny got scared out of the water by this bulked up Loch Ness-like creature this i thought it was as unfunny and unnecessary as it gets but all right maybe there were a little bit too many characters i don't know i guess we're gonna meet more of them in a little bit more detail in episode one of season two i would i would suppose so i want to reserve judgment there but honestly i rather would have seen one of the worst episodes of this season like i don't know the second episode or the the episode with the substitute teacher taken out to make room for this to become episode nine and part two of the story to become episode 10. by the way expect a ranking of all 10 episodes later today here on the channel so getting into what episode i like more than others is not a discussion for now this finale did something the show really 
required, even if it lets us hanging with a bit of a soft cliffhanger. I mean, the final scene is actually great, but it doesn't leave me uh, hungry for the next one per se. It doesn't really feel like a cliffhanger, right? But seeing and hearing this young version of Sugar Mama felt so right. I mean, we have seen younger versions of her in the original Proud Family, but I don't think we've seen her as a young, young girl. Her voice, her appearance, it fits. And the last line within the flashback where she says, Oh, Pa, I can't stand you. Which is, as we know, is what Penny always says to her father when she's angry. This makes sense. This scene to me explains better why Sugar Mama is the way she is. She, she, doesn't, know, she doesn't know any better than to be dismissed of Oscar that's the only behavior she knew and it also explains better why she's often so close to Penny why she sides with her against Oscar that's also the only attitude she was used to when she was a child I love what this scene does for Sugar Mama even if it's literally uh, a I want to prove my worth to my family trope which is a character motivation done to death but I don't care I got used to being very happy about the occasional change of pace when it's not sheer mediocrity and I think it's one of the more fair things I can say about this season as a whole. I get very happy whenever this show it doesn't stink, you know, that's gonna cost me dislikes. And honestly, a simple story really focusing on the Proud family as a collective, finding out some family secrets, which is done so many times, but it is something this show desperately needed. It is once again, I said, I said this last week, one of the stronger episodes. Now it's up to you. What did you think about this episode? Let me know in the comments below and add D plus on the top of your comments if you want me to give my thoughts on your thoughts in the coming Sunday video. I'm thinking about wrapping this up. Thank you so much for watching. If you're interested in my thoughts on all the previous episodes, you'll find it right here or in the description. Did you like this video? Then there's a simple way to show support. Thank you so much. I'll be back today with the episode ranking tomorrow with the latest episode of Moon Knight and be sure to tune in this Sunday for the new Your Thoughts video. For now, have a wonderful day and see ya.